Rob and I are going on a trip and I'm super excited to show you what's in my toiletry bag. But first, Chipotle! Why is Chipotle always so good? Uh, Rob and I are actually taking a road trip up to see his two sisters. One is up in Lake Placid, um, and the other sister is up in Panama City. Keep, keep an eye out for two vlogs showing you each place that we've, that we're going in. We're just gonna have so much fun. I'm so excited to get out, to use the paddleboard, to be in the pool, to be at the beach. This is definitely my kind of vacation. I can't wait. So for the month of July, I have decided that I'm not washing my hair just to see how it goes, but we're not going into details about that. I am filming a whole nother video about that and how it does affect my vacation. So in my toiletry bag, there will be no um, shampoo. Just gonna preface that. With all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's in my toiletry bag. So growing up, I have such great memories traveling with my mom and my sisters, obviously, to uh, visit her sister in the Bahamas. We would go whenever there was a long weekend or a week off. We would feel like we were there every summer, all summer, every Christmas. Um, and I just remember her always packing a big toiletry bag. Um, it was huge and it would have all of our stuff in it. And I have never had one until now. I actually got this one off of Amazon. It's kind of cool. It holds a whole lot. So let's get into it. It's got a pocket here, one plastic pocket, one mesh pocket, which is really cool, especially for like your toothbrush um, so that if you put it in here wet, it'll have some place to dry. It's got this little front pocket and then this huge pocket. This is actually the thing that holds the bottom. It's got two little compartments here and three stretchy bands to hold it in. Um, it's hold, it closes through Velcro. And when you're not using it, it does fold down pretty nicely. And it's got a handle. So I got everything out of the bag and nicely separated to show you exactly what I'm bringing. So we got hair, body, makeup, medicine, and extra. Let's start with makeup. Makeup is probably the last thing that I'm thinking about and the smallest pile of what I'm bringing because we're gonna be outside in the sun and we're gonna be doing water sports and I just don't want mascara running down my face. But I am bringing this tinted moisturizer from Tarte. It does have some SPF in it. Um, so this will um, help me from day to day to not only even out my skin tone, but to also protect me from the sun. So love Tarte, love dual purpose products. Um, the second thing is this CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. Um, I honestly never use this. It kind of goes on a little clumpy, a little goopy, um, but that's why I'm kind of bringing it on this trip. So if I lost it or I wouldn't cry if I didn't use it. So that's why this one's coming with me. Next, I totally imagine that my lips are gonna be super chapped being on the boat and being out in the sun. So I brought Carmex, um, this lip balm. It is my favorite, especially lately wearing um, masks. It does um, moisturize my lips so well because the masks just, I don't know why, but your lips just um, dry out so, so, so much, so. And of course, Tarte Lip Paint. 
in the color Home Slice. It's a really nice um, peachy warm color, which I really think complements my skin tone. Um, and I might just wear this when, you know, I'm feeling like dressing up for dinner, which won't be out because Corona, or if I'm just feeling like in the car, I want to make myself look a little prettier. I really am not 100% sure why I'm bringing this, but it, it's going in the bag. So next, let's move on and go into medicine. Um, I take a, quite a few vitamins. I take a multivitamin, I take a probiotic, I take a um, biotin pill and an allergy pill every day. Um, I'm also allergic to a few things, so I always make sure to pack some extra um, Benadryl and that's Zyrtec in there with it, um, just to make sure that I'm covered in case of an emergency. I'm also highly allergic to mosquitoes, so hydrocortisone cream is a must. This is going to save me from scratching off my own skin. So don't leave home without right. it. What I always bring everywhere is Pepto and Advil. You never know when someone's going to fall off the tube the wrong way or drink too much lake water. So these are a must. And the last two things are actually my essential oils. Um, this is oregano from Young Living. Oregano is actually a pseudo antibiotic. Antibiotic? Is that how you say it? Oregano is a pseudo antibiotic. So if I'm feeling like a sore throat or an upset stomach or something coming on, I do take a drop um, with water. Um, this stuff burns, it's very hot, but um, it does the job. If my sinuses are extra, extra full or anything I might need, if I'm not feeling great, I'll also put this on the bottom of my feet and sleep in some socks and this stuff works. And this is a actual roll-on. Um, it's called Tranquil from Young Living. And it just smells so good. Usually every night we have a diffuser in our bedroom diffusing essential oils to help you sleep. Um, Tranquil is a combination of lavender, cedarwood, um, rolling chamomile and coconut oil. So if I'm having trouble sleeping or just need a moment to feel peaceful, then I'm gonna roll some of this on me. I usually um, roll it on my um, wrists and then my neck. And if I'm about to go to sleep, I will kind of put it on my upper lip so that I will smell and breathe in the medicinal factors and the medicinal um, benefits of this stuff. Love it. And of course, being a girl, you just need an extra pad. You never know. I'm not expecting my period while I'm on this trip, but you always bring an extra pad. So that is all gonna go in this outside pocket. So the next area I want to cover is body. This is a body lotion that I got in some hotel room. I'm pretty sure um, it was actually on my honeymoon that I got this. It's really, really nice. Um, but it also has aloe vera in it, which is basically why I brought it. Just in case, you know, sunburn, you always need a little aloe vera just to um, heal that sunburn quickly. Um, but we're not gonna get sunburned. I am, plant, my sister-in-law does have a lot of, both sisters-in-law do have a lot of um, sunscreen. So I'm gonna make sure that I plaster and make sure that my skin stays healthy while I'm on my trip. 
Next, your girl always needs some body spray. You never know when you're out in the boat for too long and girl, you just need some body spray. This is Japanese cherry blossom. I'm pretty sure someone has given this to me as a present because you know, it's Bath and Body Works and doesn't everyone get Bath and Body Works for a present at some point in time? So that's my dedicated travel body splash. Um, the next thing is, you might think that this is a hair product, but it's not. It's actually um, rose water. I wanted this in a nice little to-go container instead of that container that it came in so that I could spritz my body. It smells amazing and it's actually very hydrating and good for your skin. So after being on the boat all day or on the kayak or paddleboard all day, you want your skin to feel fresh. So that's why I'm bringing this. And this nice bottle will fit inside my um, fanny pack. So whenever I need it, I got it. Next thing is deodorant. I love the spray deodorant. A lot of the actual deodorants actually make me kind of itch and they irritate my skin. So I usually buy whatever store I'm in that version of their spray deodorant because it's usually more affordable and I love the spray. This is body soap, body wash, whatever you want. This is a Target plastic container. Um, the soap I use is actually a, a hemp soap. Um, and I think some old Bath and Body Works lemon soap was in here. So I just filled it back up and yeah, my sister actually recommended this to me. It's Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. Um, and I love and it. I only, only really use this on my face. Um, it doesn't really soap up. It is almost like a sulfate-free shampoo that doesn't really lather, but I do feel clean and moisturized after doing this, and that's just so, so important. So that has to come. And last but not least, toothbrush and toothpaste. Crest is the best. Leave a comment down below what toothpaste is your favorite. Mine is Crest. And a dentist-given toothbrush. Isn't that why we all go to the dentist is for the free toothbrushes? Okay, let's put this all in the bag. So my last face product is also a hair product. This is homemade. This is actually a recipe I found, and it's um, for anti-aging. It is a combination of sunflower oil, hemp oil, and avocado oil. And if you have watched my five products for frizzy hair, you'll know that avocado oil is glorious for your hair, but it's also so, so great on your face and on your skin. Um, so this is going to be my face moisturizer while I'm gone, but I just made some more. So I have a full bottle and this will actually be used as almost like a serum while I'm away. Uh, next product is, it's a 10 Miracle Defreezing Curl Cream. My supply house, Cosmoprof, was gifting these away with purchases and I got a couple four to be exact. And I'm gonna try it while I'm away and see how long this gets me and see if I like it. I always love getting free samples for that reason, just to know whether or not I'm gonna like a product. Next, since I'm not washing my hair while I'm gone, girl, pray for me. Um, I am bringing this very large hair mask. I've used it a little and I do like it. It smells amazing. Uh, so yeah, I've used a little bit. Um, but I'm excited. 
Um, it's Structure Repair Hair Mask by Maria Nilla. And I am thinking that after being on the boat all day and being in the lake, that this will be good to moisturize my hair and to repair it from any damage that it incurs while I'm on the boat. I'm also bringing, I got lots of samples from Cosmo Prof and I am so happy. I got aloe vera curl defined detangling conditioner and BioSilk Silk Therapy Organic Coconut Oil Moisturizing Conditioner. So yes, that's one, two, three conditioners. These little bottles will be one use for me because I have so much hair. Um, but I'm ex always excited to try new products. I have used the Curl, the Curl products from Chi, but mm, not impressed enough to buy a big bottle. And this is also Chi Aloe Vera with Agave Nectar, Curls Defined Aloe Vera Oil, which I'm also bringing to moisturize my hair on top of this and to style it as well. Um, and my last styling product is, of course, the Olaplex Smoothing Bond Smoother. Bond Smoother. Smoother. This is what I use as my curl cream every day anyway. So that's all going to go in health. And last but not least, my bips and bops. I have one, two, three, four, five hair ties slash scrunchies in this thing and two clips. I do this with my hair a lot. Just kind of like half up, get out of my face. And I imagine on the boat, that's gonna be what's happening. So just little extra things, throw those in there. Um, my wet brush and oh so on theme. And because we we're gonna be at my two sister-in-law's houses, I also packed um, laundry detergent. These are the little don't eat these, these aren't good to eat. But the little pods for the laundry and we'll be able to do some laundry. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so excited I got to share with you what's in my toiletry bag. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I will have to film another video telling you how this toiletry bag went. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you soon.